We had a big frost here about 10 days ago. Jake Legui surveys this year's crops in disappointment. Some of it obviously survived. His flax and lentils choked out by an invasive tumbleweed. This weed, known as kochia, has always thrived in drought conditions. Now its resistance to herbicides is growing and it's costing farmers. One seed turns into thousands. Last year, Legui says he spent $100,000 on a weed exterminator add-on to his combine. Right underneath there is the hammer mill. That's on top of the hundreds of thousands spent annually on herbicides, but nothing has tamed the beast. Every time we're out in the field, we're spraying for kochia. Experts say while kochia has been confined to the southern prairies for years, it's rapidly spreading even detected as far north as Alberta's peace country, moving in that direction as a result of climate change and deforestation. Cutting down tree lines, um, which would block the wind, uh, so now it has prairie that's wide open that it can just tumble and fly through. We have different crops laid out and to see how well they are able to compete. Now, Agri-Food Canada scientists are stepping up putting research into ways to clamp down on kochia, from running tests on sister variants to providing education to farmers on identifying the species on their land. But a lack of existing research making it hard to track its patterns. We've got lots of really good data for precipitation and temperature. We don't have a lot of data on um, how these plants are interacting, how the weeds might be interacting with other things in the environment. Food production becoming more challenging the more resistance these weeds develop to herbicides. It could decrease the ability of our farm to turn a profit, reduce our ability to, you know, be able to continue to do this. Farmers hope scientists are successful in eradicating these weeds, which are costing farmers money, time and crop yields. Helena Mahalik, CBC News, Fillmore, Saskatchewan.